Hey, T. Prepper here, and we're coming up on SpaceX down here by Brownsville. And I just wanted to show, as we approach up, I can see the hopper, it looks like, sitting on the launch pad up ahead. We're coming up first to the satellite stuff, so we can see what's changed here. It looks like they got a crane. Still quite a ways away, but just kind of wanted to show the area of where they're at out here. Kind of all desert looking with uh, some of the backwaters from the high tide, I think, and rains that come up here. But anyway, we're coming up close and you can see what they got. We are, they got uh, some signs up, uh, different things. Oh, they got a lot more buildings and stuff up here now, it looks like. A temporary building one there three four months ago from the last time I videotaped. But uh, you see it's there. We've got security or guard up here. It was actually sightseers I saw. I thought it was a white cop car, but it wasn't. So, looks like they got some living quarters here. satellite deals up here. This up here hasn't changed too much. That temporary building was the only thing I think that was added from last time. And there's some actual people here working now. SpaceX. There's security in the car there. Solar panels. I think all this rest of this stuff here was here before. So. And we'll come up here to the launch pad here pretty quick. You can see up ahead hopper that's sitting there. I think it's called a hopper. Zoom in on a little bit. Right here, feel for it. Let's see how large it is. I'm going to put the window up so we don't get all the noise. The wind, sorry about that. activity down here. I don't see it yet. Get a little closer, we can probably tell. Okay, getting a little closer here. And it looks like I got a bunch of fuel tanks. They weren't out here before, so that's all new. A lot's happened here. I know they've been testing the engines on this. Uh, they said they had successful tests on the news. Talk about it. So if you've been following SpaceX, you'll probably have heard about that. And let's see. Zoomed in here quite a bit on it. A lot of those tanks and temporary buildings and stuff around. I wonder if they move all those out when they... That security down here too, so... Pretty cool looking. stuff going on here that wasn't going on before so there must be some more buildings or something I'm not sure what but anyway, a lot of activity down here now just a pad of dirt to a hopper sitting on it anyway that's an update on spake sex down here by Brownsville Texas tiny T prepper sign out y'all have a good day tiny T here and I just want to show you how close the hopper is uh, the SpaceX vehicle is to the beach here's a beach and I'm just gonna turn around and you can see just right up there is the hopper. You zoom in a little bit on it. And you can see it right there, so very close to the beach. Go we'll walk up on a sand dune here. And I'll pause it so you don't get seasick with me moving. I might have turned a little quick there for you, so anyway. I'm on top of a sand dune so you can get a pretty good view of the 
hopper. I'm zoomed in as much as I can on my cell phone. Sorry about the wind. Turn it all still so you can see everything. A lot of activity going on over there. People driving vehicles around. And anyway, there it is sitting on the launch pad. They've already tested it. A couple different tests they've done on it before they shut down the road uh, with vehicles coming out. But anyway, Tiny T Prepper sign out. Y'all have a good day. Okay, just a little close up of the hopper. Stopped here along the road. Zoom in on it, get a better video, just the hopper here, and just everything they're doing around. I think this, if I remember right, was the vehicle that's going to Mars, but in the comments below, if you know something different, don't hesitate to say, good shot of the porta potties. Hey, this is all SpaceX here.